Beef Wellington doesn't have to be a complex dish, you just have to follow a few simple steps. You start with a good piece of meat and a decent bottle of wine. So beef tenderloin and uh, an Italian red. You make a marinade with the red. You add onions, carrots, garlic, uh, a little ginger, some salt and pepper. And a good rule of thumb, and some ground mustard, a good rule of thumb is uh, don't make a marinade out of a wine that you wouldn't drink. And you put your tenderloin in and you place it in the fridge overnight for at least 12 hours to absorb the flavors and then you braise it or sear it. Now your next step is to make a, a hash of mushroom, shallots, garlic, and then you mix it in with the uh, pate. This is what you're going to coat your tenderloin with. You wrap it in prosciutto. Then you put some wrap on it, flip it, do the same thing on the other side. Pop it back in the fridge. Now you can uh, make your own puff pastry if you'd like, but this is two minute beef wellington, so I, uh, I purchased my puff pastry and did it the easy way. You put your roast on the baked puff pastry shell, and then you put the unbaked shell on top brush it liberally with butter, kosher salt, score it, and pop it in the oven. And cook it until uh, the internal temperature suits your taste. Not a complicated dish, but delicious.